Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makas That Gamer, and this is One Shot, an RPG maker. I'm not sure if it's a horror game, I think it's more of a puzzle game than anything, but it's horror themes. We're gonna go straight into it immediately. There's no middle option because I haven't don't have a load game there. Let's start right now. Are you sensitive to flashing lights? No. Are any of you guys sensitive to flashing lights? Should, should I click no? Are seizures a problem? Hmm. I'm going to say no to this question, but please, if you have seizures, probably don't watch if it's warning me about this. Uh, hello? And now to adventure already. Interesting graphic styles at the very least. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. There's no need to do anything to it. Reflection of herself, a pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. I'm curious to know how they did this reflection. But this is the first time I've actually seen a mirror in an RPG Maker game that works like a mirror. I'm semi-impressed. There's no water in the toilet. The tub is completely empty. Password. Two, four, four, five. Access denied. The colors are definitely notable there. Add infinitum. A soft glowing light trickles through the windows. Negatory. Well, it doesn't really strike me as anything else to catch an adventurous. Let's go outside. Except the door is locked. Add infantum. You go back to bed? It's like a Yuma Nikki fan game? Probably not. Let's have this completely empty. More on the toilet, all the stuff we kind of already knew. A pair of luminous yellow eyes to wreck at Nikki. Weathered plants, it's stiff and dry. No, you are all the same stuff we just read, but we are kind of trapped in our room. And that is until we can figure out what to do. Soft lines coming through the window. That same thing. Supposedly there's a password to this computer, but I don't believe it. Input password. Red, green, blue, white. That sounds like it's important. Maybe there's something here for me. Items. No. Equipment. Head. Torso. Hands. Feet. Accessory. Notes. General. You must guide Nico through the game without quitting. Quit. Okay. That does mean this game probably isn't long, that said. I don't really know what they expect me or want me to do in this particular scenario. Help! I don't want to ask for help this early. There's not very much here. Wait, I do have an idea. I do have an idea. It's a stupid idea, though. It's probably a really, really dumb idea. A withered plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Luminous yellow eyes, so that's two. So yellow is two. A withered plant sits here stiff and dry, so two, one. Maybe it's just two and one that matter. There's no yellow. My plans are gonna falter. 
thought I had it. What? No, no siree. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll ask for a clue. I, wait, is this light here? There's a TV remote underneath the carpet here. Nico picked it up. Never mind. Got something. <clears throat> Television remote. Where did I use the TV remote? An infantron. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All the numbers except six, two, eight, and four are missing. Six two eight four six two eight four six two eight four six two eight four Access granted. There you go, and we can see games like off and witch's house and all that fun stuff. I think it's dreamy Mary. It seems I've finally been found. You're both far too late. Nothing left is worth saving. Surely Nico wants to leave, and there's nobody happier to fill that request than me. Keep in mind these things. First, your decisions have permanent consequences. Second, you may quit whenever you like. This is permanent failure and murder. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Ryan Stanford. It tries to yell at me. Well, that's a little bit evil of you. All right. No, it's off there. Anyways, I think I already got that information. But there you go. There you go. Computer fulfilled. It won't turn on. You don't say. Well, the door must be unlocked now. Some stuff to check out in the meantime. Hello. The TV gives off a dangerous-looking spark. Anyone? I guess not at the very moment. There's a lock here at the very least. A tall rectangular panel of wood is set into the wall. It appears to be a door with no hinge and no handle. No amount of force can make it budge either. A strange, somewhat circular symbol is carved into a central recess, roughly eye level. Intriguing, to say the very least. I'm not checking out through here. There's a busted TV here. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Could it be lit somehow? By the spark, maybe? I'm just saying. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Here's an idea. Items, ball of alcohol. Those can't be combined. I don't want to combine it. Equipment? How do I fucking unequip this remote? I don't want to combine them. There, there we go, finally. Just took the bottle of alcohol out myself. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Could it be lit somehow? I was thinking about pouring the alcohol over the fire because that is flammable. The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. My idea was to use the alcohol to... Anyways. A tall rectangular panel of wood is set into the wall. Appears to be a door with no hinge and no handle, no amount of force can move can budge either. A strange, somewhat circular symbol is carved into the central rest that's roughly at eye level. Intriguing to say the very least, but whatever the case. Yeah, time to get drunk. Our good old main character here really wants a good old whiff of drink. Just, okay, I didn't see this here. The door is locked. This doesn't really matter because there wasn't anything there, but you know. My feeling was that we were going to pour alcohol here, then use a spark from the television, maybe. Or maybe set it on a fire, like a fucking Molotov cocktail. It seemed a little bit silly, but you never know. The silly ideas sometimes are the best ideas. 
Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I got not nothing, but this game is one of those games that are supposed to try and trick you with puzzles that are very specific what you must do. Is there a way to use this here? Shift? What about shift? I seem to have unequipped my item. Why did that unequip my item? Oh, you mean to get rid of my item? Okay, I didn't see what you're talking about when I was earlier being confused. Notes. Using items. To activate an item, select in the items menu. You can combine items and use them with various objects in the environment. To deactivate an item, press the shift key or select it in the items menu again. Last note, quitting the game. It's permanent death. You only have one shot, I understand. That is interesting, but not really helpful. Anything behind the TV. It goes off a spark. It goes off a spark. The spark, if I can get that to the fireplace. I think I was supposed to use alcohol here, but I guess not. Maybe it's something in the previous area I can use alcohol with. Let's find out. This part of the house still is available to me. Perhaps a branch would come in handy. There you go, Nick removed a branch. I think I've got an idea now. I'm going to combine the bowel of alcohol to dry branch. Nickel dips the branch in the alcohol. I am a genius figuring shit out. I'm gonna use this in the fucking TV here. Wet branch. Nico raised the branch. It lights up in a flash. I put that over here. So smart. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into the crack in the floor. Nico takes it out. Maceman key. Let's use that over here. Tall panel. I'm not gonna try and use this key. The key's not good enough for that door, apparently. Why is the light blue anyway? I love the story. Okay, it was for that door. Got it. This is the basement key. Another key elsewhere is for something else. A large light bulb rests on the ground. Nico decides to pick it up. Does it brighten up my day? Honey cha, honey cha, light will do what light does. Let's follow it through this way. Does make things a bit brighter around here. Do I use this as a fucking doorknob? Probably not. That's not the solution, silly old me. Probably something which I can only see with this light bulb. Well, where would I put a light bulb? That's a good question. Probably not this fire. The flames are dim but comforting. Gives off a dangerous spark. The door is strangely locked. That is a bit strange. Thank you for noticing. A giant yellow light bulb. Where did it come from? Will it combine with the empty bottle? It's kind of be combined. Television remote. Combined with the light bulb. This can't be combined. He now carries light bulb. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I got all excited for a second for no stupid good reason. Hmm. I bet it's on the stairs leading up to the basement. That seems a little bit odd or peculiar to me to check out. Maybe I to put this light bulb in the fucking fridge. Guess not. Though that might answer the question. Is the light on when you turn off the fridge or when you close the fridge? Answer is an obvious yes, because if you pay close attention, it turns off before you close the fridge. Maybe there was more to this basement than I originally thought. The answer to that seems to be a resounding no, but hey, it could have happened. I'm 
you're gonna like all of my inventory. <laughs> I know, no more pretty music. Flames are dim, but my heart is strong. That's a dangerous spark. Can't fit this in here. Oh, never mind. I just didn't have the light bulb equipped. It fits perfectly somehow. We're in the future now, wherever this room is. This is probably not the future, actually. Did find the edge of the world, though. It's the ruined future. It's the post-apocalyptic future. Would explain a lot. I have found my way out. It's okay, I'll continue on to that giant tower. No added. There's a pair of boots here. You can pick them up. These boots are made for marching, and that's just what they'll do. I'm exploring before I think I'm going the right way because I would actually like to pick up anything I would need or ever want. This train car is not a train car, it's my house. It's okay, it's pretty cool too. I'm not sure which way is the right way or if it all loops or doesn't loop wherever I am doing at the moment. That's my cart. Or a train cart that's just not working right now. march downward and see if I walk back into my fucking house if I'm actually looping right now. I'll go this way, I guess. I guess I'm not looping? Ah. That light bulb, you're here. Uh, uh, hello? Welcome to our world, little one. I am most humbled by your presence. Uh, thanks. I I'm a little lost. Alright, I will explain. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm, I'm not really sure. I woke up. I see, just as my prophecy foretold. You're the savior we've been waiting for. You'll be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um, ask me anything you'd like. The world. The light bulb, the computer, going home. In the house, I found a computer which said something about someone named Ryan Stanford. That's a little bit. Ah, our god. Have you contacted them yet? Huh? The traditional name of our god is Ryan Stanford. I'm not sure of the origin of this name. Being the bringer of our son, you have the ability to communicate with them. How I envy you. Close your eyes and try it. Oh, 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 what the? You guys don't know this. It opened up my computer menu. What are you doing? Except this isn't my computer menu. There's stuff here which I don't have. I never use Mozilla Firefox. Get the fuck out of here, Mozilla Firefox. Well? He's controlling my fucking desktop. Hello, Ryan Stanford. Is that your name? Yes. Wow. I actually heard someone. This is incredible. I always look to them for guidance. You've already received more than you realize. The world, the light bulb, the computer, the light bulb. What is this light bulb for? Within your hands is our new sun. 
Many years ago our sun sat atop that spire and spilled its light into the land. But one day it ran dry. The surface of this world is abundant with phosphor, an element that stores light. It provided us some illumination for it, but its energy is finite. When the last, last of the light fades, the world will die. The world? Tell me about this world. Our world wasn't always this dim, nor was it so empty. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. The spire you see in the distance once held our sun. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. There you go. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know where I am, or who you are, or how I got here. This is too much. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. I am unable to offer you help beyond that. Is that all? No. Is that all? No. Is that all? Yes. I wish you luck. Else here. Best case, it's got a note right here. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. Of course, now they say it's the barrens. But I still wonder what's beyond the void of sheer cliffs? Is there a whole undiscovered world below us? I don't like thinking about it. You can't walk fast here. There's a lot of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. Don't say. Need extra cash? Start working at the cliffs today. Five positions available. First come, first serve. Intriguing. Natural resource of the barrens. Harvesting locations. Blue phosphor, mineral, ubiquitous. Organic biosphere, southeast. Biosphere, sap. Blue limestone, bauxite, iron ore, shell rock. Or a bogo gas. The red list goes on. Solar battery is restocked. Ah, there might be something useful in this box. I wish I had something to pry it open. How about shiny on the shelf? A uh, screwdriver. Wait. It says these boots will make it possible to move quickly. Well, how do I move quickly? A screwdriver is not nearly big enough to pry it open. You did fucking use a screwdriver. Boxes are not that hard to open. Fast travel. Equipping gear. Items shown in orange are equipable gear. Oh, okay. Equipment. Boots. Yes! Items. Or actually, I meant to go to notes. Fast travel. You can press any of the number keys to open the fast travel menu. From this menu, Nico will be able to instantly travel to locations already seen. However, you will be unable to access this menu indoors. Recipe for simple clean solvent. Nope, wear hand protection. Reagents, aerobio gas, and amylocyphor, a pickleless liquid. Steps place aerobio gas in sealed container without breaking the seal. Inject amylocyphor into the containers and shake vigorously. Use as soon as possible if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Shake, shake, shake up, uh, shake it. Slot tiny shrimp in the jar. More notes over here. Hey, it's a world map. The spire, the barrens, the glen. 
the A robot may not inquire, injure a human being, or through an inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. These are the classic list of robot rules. The theories of what robots must live by by law. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except for such orders in the conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Those are the classic three robot laws. I forget who made those laws, but I think it was a science fiction writer. Let me go through here. Anything in the middle? There's a note. This appears to be a battery, but it's too heavy to take. Revolutionary self-charging solar battery, five-year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full sunlight to charge at an incredible rate. No external power needed. XXXXX, another miner fell into the abyss today. That's the third this week. Maybe it's not much of a concern for you, but we need better safety conditions. This is unacceptable. Please tell the girl to hurry the hell up with those robots. We can't afford to lose any more men to easily preventable accidents. I guess it's so goddamn dark outside. Found my house, I think. This may not actually be, yeah, it's not actually my house, just because I like it. It's a piece of metal railing. Maybe I can use it for something. Maybe. So not all houses that look alike are the same, got it. It's like a suburban home all over again. I run zigzags around a little bit. Volcanoes and everything. Just going to avoid these cliff sides and walk around them. Next area is travel around. Where, oh, where may I be trying to head to? Yeah. Here's something. A cleaning sponge. What is it doing here? That is a good question. Seems like this area is going to start going upwards, so I'll check over here first. These running shoes were one of my best investments. I didn't actually invest in them, I just picked them up from the ground, but that's gotta count for something too. Here's something. This pond is a lot different than the other ones. The wire is all gooey. Do I absorb it with the sub? No. Do I absorb it with a sponge? Not doing the other ones. The is all gooey, though. No. Empty bottle. There's no way the goop will fit in this bottle without some sort of funnel. I don't actually have the right idea. Well, I'll figure that out. So you have a funnel of some kind to go along with that bottle. Let's go upward, and we probably have some zigzagging to do in just a second. Like right now. Ziggity diggity. Oh, found the next area. Another one of these. I'm not sure what these structures are, but they certainly look interesting. They almost look like miniature buildings, miniature, because I'm so large compared to them, and that might just be an RPG character thing. So RPG characters always look much larger than everything else. Hey sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. Are you excited? Surely you're sick of living in that awful capsule wall thing. I bet you can't wait to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. It's beyond repair. Here's some stuff down here. It's a pair of gloves. They're a bit heavy. Looks like a solar panel. I think by just being near it, the light bulb is powering these machines. Ah, for lights. Understandable, because you guys work off flashlight lights. It's the sun. I understand now. 
in a bizarre world where the flashlight was literally in the sun. Ooh, it's maze like. Just gonna get this note. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the vents. They always look less rusty and shinier than the newest models. Is that a result of the acid gas, or am I just seeing things? I'll take an interception this way to see where it leads to. Double left, as I see something there. That's not a door. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't think I've seen any codes anywhere. Not since the remote, anyway. I've seen you made progress, Ryan Stanford. But well, that stops here if you don't stop to consider this. This world is falling apart. It's possible the information you seek is now an entirely different plane of existence. Do you understand what this means? Do you really? Yeah, no. Information is contained within documents. Where on your machine would you find documents? Fuck. You don't understand. My documents folder is full of just everything you could imagine. I guess I'll sort by date. Sort by... Date? Date modified. There we go. Information. Dear Blink, today Blink, this is my final letter to you and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you my journal, written in a language that everybody could understand. Uh, read it and everybody goes and read it and you'll know everything. I also have your mask in case the toxic fumes ever spread. Look for a large safe quarry in the stay safe. Do not look for me. The code to the safe is 204995. 204995. Whoa, it worked! Get it, Ron? Alright, too late for that. How did you know that, Ryan Stanford? There's a gas mask in here. Also, some weird looking book. It's written in a language I've never seen before. It's empty. Oops. General, fast travel, cooking gear, items, rubber gloves, equipment, gas mask, rubber gloves, gloves designed for chemical damage, mask used to filter air for breathing. Oh, you can actually see it on this character. I was hoping so. <laughs> what is that? Quite the question, indeed. Well, so many more directions to go, but that's a dead end. Here's a no. The savior is not coming, and I am afraid of the darkness, and the darkness will only get darker and darker and darker. Taking my leave now. Farewell. To all, I am so sorry. That's the adopt thing. Now then. Rolls how it goes. Canes today. Going through and through. I just went back to the game, didn't mean to. Lot to see. So much to check out. Are you a rock? That's a rock. This is the other next direction to go into. Yeah, it's gonna fade me out. Well, I'll make sure I've seen everything in the maze before I get to over to the next area. Let's see what I can see. There is a note there which I have not read, so at the very least I need to see that. Bah! Destructive and unsustainable, my foot! Folks from the inner city complain about everything if they're bored to death in their nice, comfy homes. Don't they know they, the city wouldn't be the way it is if it weren't for the quarry? People seem to forget that the bear is a gift, and gifts aren't meant to just sit there and collect dust. 
just need to be opened. He must really love presents. Anyways, though, let's go over this way. I never took this path, so I'm just gonna check it out. Okay, it's a quick way to get out of here. Got it. Which makes sense. 